Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to increase your download speeds on your PlayStation 5. So let's go ahead and jump into the video right now. And I just went ahead and did a quick speed test on my PlayStation. And I'm getting 450 megabytes per second for my download speed and 18.9 for my upload speed. And this is actually pretty good. Now, if I go to settings on my home screen and then scroll on down to network and then go to settings and go to setup internet connection, I can choose through my different connections on here, like my wired LAN one, my 5G connection, and my 2.4 gigahertz connection. Now, if you have the option for connecting a LAN cable to your PlayStation, this will always be the most reliable and quickest connection. So if you have the option to connect a cable from your router to your PlayStation, go ahead and do that. Now, I have my wired LAN one connected. If you are forced to connect over Wi-Fi, press options under this list and scroll on down to Wi-Fi frequency bands and choose 5 gigahertz. And see if there's any 5 gigahertz connections for you to connect to. Now. When I do a quick internet test between my LAN cable and my 5 gigahertz, my 5 gigahertz is usually about 50 megabytes per second slower than my LAN cable. But for my 2.4 gigahertz, which is Mr. Beast, this will be about 150 gigahertz slower than my LAN cable. So it's quite a difference between the 2.4 gigahertz and the 5G. It's much faster for your 5 gigahertz. So once you choose your connection, go over it and press options on it and then go to advanced settings and then go to your primary DNS and type in 1.1.1.1. Then for your secondary DNS, type in 1.0.0.1. Press R2 and done and go to OK and test this out. Otherwise, you can test this out as well. 8.8.8. 8.8.8 .8. then for your secondary you type in 8.8.8.4.4 this will be the google open s dns server then for the mtu settings i go to manual and i type in 1473 and then go to ok and then connect to the internet and then just do a quick speed test after this so let's back out go to connection test right here and then you can see your download speed and your upload speed under this menu. Now, if you are trying to download a game, what you would want to do is pause the download for that game and then resume the download if it's being a little bit slow. So you can see my download speed is around 415 megabytes per second. That's pretty quick. Now, if you are having like problems downloading a game and it's not going very quick, so let's go ahead and just download a game. So let's go to my game library, go to collection, and then download Doom. So I'm going to download the Doom PlayStation 4 version. Now, if you are playing a game, this is going to throttle your download. So if I open up Fortnite, my downloads for my Doom game right now will be slower. So what I would want to do is close any application I have open. So I know I have Fortnite open, so I'm gonna go ahead and close this by pressing options on it and go to close game and then go back to my download and then I can pause it and then I can resume it. So if I choose this, I can go to resume and you'll notice that your download speed will actually be a little bit quicker. So hopefully this video did indeed help you out. If it did, go ahead and leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech up videos coming up next on your six studios.